Hi guys! So I thought I'd go ahead and switch purses. I've been using this one for a while now. This is just my go-to purse. I love it so much. But since I never really gave this purse a chance, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch to this one. I did test out this purse by putting my stuff in it before, but I've never actually used it. So I want to go ahead and give this purse a go. Um, I don't know how well you're going to see me pulling stuff out of this purse, but when I put this purse on the box to fill it up, you guys should see that a lot better. Um, I'm going to find a new pack of tissues to keep in my purse because that one's a little old. But I got, I got those kitsch masks. Oh my god, I love them so much. They're so cute. They're so comfortable. Um, my lotion. I don't have to show you guys everything right now. I'll kind of show you as I'm putting it, my stuff like in the other purse, but I'm just going to pull everything out. I am still using this fossil wallet. I have not switched wallets since I got this and I don't know why. I love so many of the wallets that I have, but this is just the perfect wallet and I love the size so much. It doesn't take up much room in any of my purses. And I think that's what I love so much about it. Um, oh, a receipt from a Mexican restaurant that we got takeout from the other day. We also got takeout from it today as well. My fiance and I are kind of addicted to that place. I don't know if anybody else has one, but um, the place is called Chimmy's. It is my favorite restaurant ever especially like when i'm craving mexican food i think if i'm craving um you know pasta or something i always want pasta house that's always been one of my favorite restaurants but yeah when it comes to wanting mexican food chimmy's is the way to go I'd also like to give a quick little shout out to my niece in this video because I saw that she left a comment on my last Dollar Tree and Target haul, um, but YouTube flags her comments because she spells my name, um, okay, all of my nieces and nephews when they, like, as they've grown up have always called me Di Di, short for Diana, you know, and, um, She's been spelling my name in the comments, D-I-E, D-I-E, so I think YouTube thinks it's like she's just saying die in the comments, but really she's trying to spell my name, and um, so I can't comment back to her because YouTube removes it from my comment section, so I can't even see it. I see it initially when she posts it, but then when I go to try to reply to her, it's not there anymore, so... Riley, I see your comments. I love you very much and I very much miss you. I cannot wait to get to see you again and I will call your mom soon so that me and you can talk. Um, you guys have seen Riley in a couple of my videos. She is my brother's daughter. She is so much fun to be around. I miss that little girl so much. She's getting so big. I think she's going to be 10 this year. And that's blowing my mind because I remember when she was born. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this will stand up until I put stuff in it, so this is going to be awkward for a couple of minutes here. So if you guys remember, I got this purse off of Amazon. I just love this color pink. It is so pretty. And the inside has that lining. I almost thought about taking the lining out, but then it would just be like this raw material and then there wouldn't be any of the pockets or anything. So I decided to not, you know, take the lining out. But let me start putting stuff in here really quick so that it'll stand up by itself. I'll start with my wallet and my little planner. I love this planner so much. And then my notebook, which hopefully all these three things will help hold it up. 
not not quite but kind of I hope you guys can see okay I know you guys like when you see me like pulling stuff out of my purse and all of that I don't think I have a special um, pocket in here for these wipes but oh you know what the bigger slip pocket in here does fit them so those can go there go ahead and put my sunglasses in here And I did switch back to my Good Chemistry Wild Child Body Spray for my purse. I've missed this scent. This one's getting low and I'm getting really scared because Target has come out with a lot of new scents. And they do still have the Good Chemistry brand, but I have not seen Wild Child there. I'm hoping I can maybe find it online since I'm not seeing it at Target anymore. But again, they came out with that Mix Bar stuff as well. And you guys know I finally got that vanilla bourbon one I love it but since the cap doesn't stay on I don't want to keep that one in my purse but this is a good like you know tried and true for me and I'm really sad if they're not going to have that at Target anymore I'm still keeping my skin so soft Avon um, aromatherapy calming hand cream in my purse I just love the smell of it and I think the packaging is really pretty the purple and blue I did try to sell Avon for a while and it was unsuccessful. I think I had a lot more fun just like buying stuff for myself, uh, which kind of probably got me in trouble there. I'm going to go ahead and throw my charger in here. This room or this purse has so much more room in it than I remember. Did I? Okay. I got refills on my meds today, so I wanted to make sure that I put some in there so that if I'm on the go and I need something, I'll know that I have it with me. All right. This is still not standing up perfectly. I feel like it's going to fall over. And I feel like, hang on. You won't see me as well. <laughs> But you'll see the purse. I know you guys like to see me putting stuff in and taking stuff out. Um, okay. All these wipes. Now, since this purse doesn't have the back zippered pocket, like a lot of my purses do, um, I'm going to need to get another one of those little pouches so I can keep all my band-aids and all of that stuff with me that I like to have. Um, see this mix bar thing I told you guys? I don't even know why I keep it in my purse. Like, yes, it smells good, but I'm telling you guys, it's so not worth it. Because as you're putting it on, you smell it, but after a couple of seconds, it literally goes away. So it's not worth paying $12 for one of these little things. Literally just buy the spray because it is $8.99, which is actually a really good price. But if you want the actual perfume and, you know, like the glass bottle, that is more pricey. But it's better than this. Like, I'll keep it in my purse just so I have it, you know, something to smell good. But, again, it's, it just wasn't worth the, like, $11.99 price tag. Alright. Um, my pens. I don't know. Um, Go ahead and throw my little gum package in here. Baby aspirin. It's a necessity. My Hocus Pocus mirror that my lovely friend Dawn sent to me. I still have to finish her project so I can mail it to her. I seriously feel so bad. It's been years, literally. But so much has happened in those years, you know, like, when I started the project, I was so into it, and then things happened, um, 
like my grandpa passed away, my father-in-law had a stroke, and then my dad got diagnosed with cancer, and then shortly after he passed away, so you know what I mean? It's just been so crazy. I haven't really like been in that mood to craft, even though I love crafting so much. All right. The only thing I'm not liking about these slip pockets is that the lining on the inside is not attached to like the sides of the purse. So when you put your lip balm, chapstick, whatever in the slip pocket, it like leans forward. So that's a little frustrating, but it's not a deal breaker yet. I am going to go ahead and put my masks in. Throw my keys in right there. I am not done. I have to grab um, a pouch to keep all of my smaller goodies in. So if you give me just a minute, I will be right back. All right, I think I'm going to go back to the little Dooney pouch that Tracy sent me. Tracy, thank you again so much for all the goodies you sent me. I have been wanting to switch back to that fossil purse. Or that other purse you sent me because they're both so lovely. Um, I'm just, I'm trying to go to different purses that I've already had that I have not tried yet. But I really love that fossil. So I think I'll be switching to that again here really soon. And I am also like trying to use purses that I haven't used yet because um, it can help me narrow down more purses that I want to sell and get rid of because I either personally don't like them or don't think I'll really use them. All right, so in here you guys know I just have like nail clippers, Aura Gel, uh, Neosporin, eye drops, nail clippers, band-aids, Uracom, um, and an old penny. But I'm gonna put that in my little piggy jar. I don't know if I told you guys this. I picked this up at Dollar Tree. Um, and anytime I find change on the ground, I look at it as a sign from my dad. Um, like if I find a penny or a quarter or whatever I find, I take it as a sign from my dad. So this is like my dad's money. You know what I mean? So when I find anything on the ground, I put it in here and it's kind of like a special thing for me. So I love that I got this adorable little pig at Dollar Tree, though. I think he's so cute. He'd be really cute painted, but I think he's cute the way he is. I do kind of want to put, like, dad's money on here or something, but I don't want to mess it up at the same time because I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree lately at all. Okay, so let me take my masks back out and put this pouch in. Alright, so everything is in this bag. I feel like it's like a very businessy type of bag, like it's classy. But it's just so cute. I want to give it an actual chance by carrying it and everything. And this is what it looks like with everything in there. It does not look organized, but believe me, it's organized to me. I know where everything is. But it looks like, you know, since my masks are just like thrown on top, here's how it looks without the masks right there. You know, I literally always, like in the back of my purse, I always put my notebook, my planner, and my wallet, and then everything else kind of goes in front. That's just how I like to do it. Not that I'm like OCD or anything, but maybe a little bit. I don't know. But um, how are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't been making videos as often lately, and it's not that I don't want to. It's just that usually like late at night by the time I get Alden to bed or something, I'm, you know, really tired. And I did just get back into a show that I was loving many years ago on Netflix. It's called Young and Hungry. It has Emily Osment in it. Such a cute, funny show. I binged it, and in like two days I was done with it. And just saying, 
Like, I originally started watching it a couple years after Alden was born, and back when we were living with my fiancé's parents, and we got rid of internet, so I could never finish the series. And so I literally just now got to finish the series, and I am not happy with how it ended. It They literally, like, left it as a cliffhanger, and I'm pretty sure the last episode was aired in 2017, so I don't think there's gonna be more. And I'm so sad with how it ended, like, I'm happy with what happened, but I'm not happy that I don't get to really see the outcome. But if anybody wants a cute, funny, you know, little sitcom to watch, check out Young and Hungry on um, Netflix. It's really cute. It's so funny. I've just been putting it on every night just because, like, it's background noise anymore because it's just, it's a feel-good show. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you frustrated with all the situations and all of that. But, yeah. So, um, I actually sold another purse on eBay last night. I'm very excited about it. I think tomorrow I'm going to get to the post office and mail it out. It's actually going to Puerto Rico, um, which luckily I looked into it. I was like, ooh, is this going to cost way more to ship there? It said it should only cost about $13.50, but like I had to charge $15 for shipping because of the flat rate box that I had for this purse. Um, so at first I was kind of freaked out thinking it was going to cost way more to ship to Puerto Rico, but Puerto Rico is considered U.S. territory when I googled it. So all should be good. If one of you purchased this bag and you're in Puerto Rico, thank you very much. You, you may not be watching my video at all. You may have just seen it on eBay and bought the purse. Um, but it was that vintage Dooney that I was selling, so I'm very excited to get it shipped out tomorrow. I'm very excited that some of these purses are selling. It makes me so happy to just have a little extra money. Um, and it makes me happy knowing that these purses are going to a good home, that they're going to be loved and used. And, you know, you guys know as much as I love purses and I love, like, collecting purses, I, I want to try to keep it at, like some sort of minimum where I just keep the purses I know I truly, truly love and will constantly switch back and forth to. I don't want to hang on to purses that I know I'm just not going to switch to anymore and all of that. So I actually do have a few more that I think I might post. Um, if you give me a minute, I will go ahead and grab a couple of them and show you here. And if any of you are interested, let me know. I will post it on eBay. Um, but give me just a second because I have a couple in mind that I know for sure I probably won't use again. So give me just a moment. Uh-oh, my light's going out. Whoa. Hello, I'm blind. Okay. So if you guys remember this purse, I love it. I think it is so beautiful. But I haven't switched to it since using it. You guys know all of these are sequins. You lift this up and each of these are pockets that you can use. The back of the purse has like this weaving look to it. The inside is like immaculate. It's so clean. It's got slip pockets, zippered pockets, and it can be crossbody. You can take the crossbody strap off. You can hold it like this or by the crook of your arm. Very, very pretty purse. And as much as I really love this purse, I have not switched to it since the first time I used it. So I'm thinking of also selling this fossil. I love it so dearly. Um... It has like the embossed flowers on this front zippered pocket. It has these two handles. It has the cross body strap, which is of course removable. It has this back zippered pocket, nice and deep and roomy. And then the inside you have a back zippered pocket and two slip pockets. The inside is very clean. I just, I love this purse, and I love Fossil. I just haven't switched to it, so I feel like somebody else could really love this bag, you know? And I love the color, um, but it's also not really big enough for me. I love it so much, but, like, I put two things in there, and I'm like, I have no room for the rest of my stuff. So, 
I think I'm going to go ahead and add those to my eBay. So if anybody's interested, I will definitely link anything in the description box so that you guys can easily find my stuff on eBay. Um, I'm sorry eBay is the only really way for me to do it. Um, I don't do Poshmark. I don't do anything like that. And again, the only other thing I could think of was, you know, for you guys, like, for you guys to tell me what purse you want, and then you'd have to cash app me because I can't use PayPal. And I know a lot of people don't trust cash app, or I know you don't know me well enough to trust me with cash app, and I totally understand that. That's just the only app I'm able to use right now. Um, but then the only other thing is how would you all message me for your addresses, so that's just a big thing. I thought about trying to do that on Instagram, though, posting certain purses, and if somebody wants it, they can cash at me, and I'll send the purse out the next day, because at least with Instagram, you can DM me your information, like your address and everything, but um, that's why I'm just doing everything on eBay right now, because it's a lot easier, it's fully safe, and all of that, so yeah, I really like this purse. I just adore the color so much. Like, this pink is everything. I just, I just love it. So, let me zip it up and see. And that's the only thing, like, I thought this purse was so weird because, like, when you zip it up, like, look, it's, like, so far down there. But then, I don't know, I guess if you wanted to, like, put stuff on the side, oh, like, on each side of the purse, you could. It's just not as protected. I don't know. I'm going to give this purse a try. This is literally one of my all-time favorite purses, as simple as it is. It's just my go-to. I love it. It's not huge. It's not too tiny. It holds everything I need it to. So a lot of the times when I switch purses, I'm switching back to that one. You guys know. You see these purse videos all the time, and I just love doing purse videos and I miss vlogging, but just so you guys know, it's been raining here, like, every single day for, like, a week straight. So my fiancé is home 24-7, so I don't vlog when he's just sitting at home with us. So once he's actually back to work, I will start doing some vlogs again. I know my vlogs aren't as exciting or anything, and I do prefer to do sit-down videos with you guys like this, either with a chit-chat video or you know, talking about makeup or talking about purses, whatever. Like, I love doing that. So I will definitely be back again soon with another video. I just thought it'd be fun to do a quick little switch purses with me. So I'm going to go ahead and go and maybe put some Young and Hungry on, try and relax for a little bit and get to bed. I think it's only going on 10 o'clock, so it's fairly early, but I would like to go to bed a little early instead of late like usual. So um, guess we'll see how that goes. But anyway, I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!